I think that every season is beautiful in its own way. Uh, we take it for granted, but I think each season gives its lesson to us. Visually speaking, in the wintertime you can see the structures of trees and plants a lot better than in the spring and summer time. That itself, to me, is a really beautiful time to see the natural world. You get to spend more time looking at rock structures and root structures versus in the spring you see more flowers, you see more new growth, and then of course in the summer you get a chance to see the fruiting bodies uh, from those same plants. Some of the questions and themes I think about when I'm making my work often are related to decay. I like that plant material has its cycles, that it, it blooms but then it falls, that when it hits the ground, if you don't pick it up right away, it's going to turn into dirt pretty quickly. Uh, so when I'm making my compositions, a lot of the time I, I work in layers and the way that I arrange the imagery tries to reflect these continuous cycles of deterioration and then regrowth from that deterioration. My name is Celeste Ampado Fao. Being an artist stems from being super curious about a lot of things and wanting to, to dig deeper into them. You're not exactly sure what you're investigating, but what you are investigating are very important questions. I believe that everybody is an artist to a certain extent. However, some people get a chance to spend more time digging deeper into the questions of the world. Being an artist is kind of like being a scientist, but a few less rules. It allows me to express things that I can't use words to express. I hope that my artwork allows people that look at it to have a closer connection with their natural world. That's one of my main goals when I'm making my botanical monoprint work is to show what's already beautiful that already exists on a daily basis in most parts of the world but to sort of allow the viewer and myself to focus in on certain elements. This journey with organic and plant material probably started when I was a child. I have a lot of very visual and sensorial memories of being under trees, inside of bushes, gathering flowers and plant materials and, and using them. So I think my relationship but the natural world started at a very early age and thankfully as a young adult it's gone full circle and I get to spend time with plants and natural materials but through a fine arts lens. This will make a nice print. Printmaking is something that visual artists have been using for centuries. It's just another tool, another medium, just the same way that like a graphite pencil or a paintbrush is used by some artists. I often will use the printing press. I use a lot of the same vocabulary as someone that draws or paints. Um, and instead of using a charcoal or a pencil or a pen to make a mark, I choose to use a plant material to make the marks in the compositions I create. It has allowed me to dig deeper into certain forms that would be extremely difficult to hand paint or hand draw. The prints start to get really interesting for me because I can actually print on top of prints, so I work in a lot of layers the way that painters do. Um, how they layer color, I layer form and color top of one another a lot of the time. 
I've always been intrigued by the vascular structures in plants. And so printmaking allows me to really show those vascular structures in a really clear way. So when I'm rolling it through the press, it's putting a lot of pressure onto that form and the actual veins of the plant often get embossed into the paper. And it's kind of like taking a, a snapshot of time. I believe that any scale of art is pretty amazing. I, I like small things, I like medium-sized things, I like large things, but I've noticed with this process I'm normally drawn to making slightly larger scale work and I think part of it comes from the fact that in nature one of my favorite environments is the forest and when you're inside of a forest um, it completely surrounds you with its energy and so one of my hopes with the pieces that I make is when a viewer is seeing it and experiencing it, I hope that the composition surrounds the viewer with the innate beauty of the natural world. So when my piece gets to be up on the wall, it's showing people a mirror of what they're made of. We consume plants. We're connected to plants. If you eat salad, you're consuming a leaf. The plants, trees make oxygen, what we breathe. So whether we like it or not, we're connected to plants and they're connected to us. So a lot of the time, I like to celebrate the diversity of the natural world. Having a diverse forest to me is the same as having like a diverse city. You need both things to have a healthy culture, society. Making my botanical monoprints has been a really extremely valuable way for me to learn. Uh, I've learned a lot about my own local natural world through making this work and even though I've learned a lot, I feel like there's still so much I need to learn. This process allows me to, to maintain my curiosity and to continue growing. If Celeste Vale had to be a plant, I would be a vine. I see what's around and I move and I, I'm a small person but I expand. So when I see vines out in the environment, I love how they can sort of take over fences or climb up trees or, you know, they seem like a small little unassuming plant, but they're actually pretty amazing how resourceful they are.